Hello there, it's Monochrome. Welcome to part 1 of Pane, also known as setting up tiling window managers. I'm going to just run Arch install to install a basic minimal version of Arch. And now that we have the Chirrut environment, we can click yes and then we'll start installing our programs. First of all, before we install anything, we'll need to like change up the Pacman config so that we can have parallel downloads. Now that we have parallel downloads, we will install YA first because we don't have that yet and we'll need to install stuff from the AUR. So. Now that we have YAY installed, we can now install all the crap that we want. I think Sway has a dependency for TTY font, which is basically to ask which font will be the default uh, of which we can choose from these. I prefer to use not a font, so I'm gonna use two. Here you will be asked if you want jack or pipewire jack. Since we are using pipewire, we will use pipewire jack instead. Alright, so that's done. And since I'm going to be making videos, I will also need to install OBS Studio so that I can record my screen. And for that, I'll need to install a couple of more packages. I'll install Qt5, Qt, Qt6 Wayland, which is required for OBS to run in Wayland. Uh, I'm going to also install Qt5 Wayland because Qt Browser requires Qt5 Wayland to run on Wayland. I will also be installing some Intel drivers and then um, an XTG desktop portal so that I can screen capture properly. Alright, so we will also install some fonts. We have already installed Noto fonts, but let's just install everything that Noto fonts has. So we have all the fonts for all the languages. CJK is for Chinese, Japanese and Korean text. Alright, that's done. So we won't need to install anything else. Uh, we'll need to enable the network so that when you log into your system you have internet and you also need to enable the login manager ly so that you can actually log into your system using that yes network manager has capital n and capital m by the way after that is done, we can just disable network manager wait on line.service. System CTL. Enabling that will enable your login manager and then system um, CTL disable getty at ttyt2.service 
is required to remove getty from there so that you can actually log in which it, it, it won't you won't be able to log in using ly if this is turned on so you'll have to disable that once that's done you can just exit and uh, reboot once you have installed all of the things then you should be able to log into sway and it should look something like this this bar by default is called sway bar super plus enter will give you a terminal on pretty much every single window manager first of all uh, we'll need to copy the configs from the etsy folder if i do slash etsy slash sway as you can see there is configs for sway in etsy you'll have to copy all of that I only have Weber here so that you will know where Weber configs are. Also, I might configure it in the future. No promises though. Once we have copied all of that, maybe even Ranger 2. Copy, config, all. Once that's done, we should be able to just go into that folder. And we should be able to see configs. Once we go through it, I will explain it piece by piece. This is for setting your mod key. So mod key is like the default key that you press and hold and send a command. So super plus enter, super plus JKL, HJKL, etc, etc. I'm going to keep it as mod 4. Mod 4 is the Windows key. If you want it to be the alt key, you have to use mod 1. I don't know what mod 2 and 3 are. So don't ask me. This is where you change the letters for up and down, left and right. If you are HJKL guy, you will use HJKL. I use call Mac mod DH, so the letters in the HKL, HJKL position is different. So I'm going to use the keys that are in that position. I keep the terminal as foot. This is for your run launcher. By default, it's D menu. I don't use D menu. I am using Rofi, so I'm going to change that. I'm going to do Rofi show D run. That should be the command. This is for wallpapers and any kind of like display output. Uh, for all the configuration stuff, you can just read the manual, which it is mentioned above uh, as in read man files for complete reference. Idle management is done by Sway Idle and i don't want the whole thing this is explained here on window managers if you just run this, the sleep command right now it is not going to do anything but go to sleep so we want our system to lock before we sleep so that when your system comes back from sleep you see the lock screen instead of directly going into the system Now if you go down, you can see that there is input, which is basically your mouse and keyboard and stuff like that. So let's go down and we have all the basic key bindings here. We can add in more key bindings here. And then this is where you move around. So super left, right, up, down. We have already set up as JKL or MNEI for me at least. So we are going to just keep it like this. It also this is just for actual super plus the arrow keys. This is for moving. I personally like the default as well. Mod shift left, right, up, down. This is for workspaces. So if you want to go to a workspace, it's super plus one and you go all the way to 10. And let's say I want to move something. Let's say this window to workspace two, it's super shift two, as you can see. And you can go to super two. This is also fine by default. So I am not going to add anything else. 
this is for splitting layout so by default sway does not have any kind of auto tiling and the sway is pretty, pretty much compatible with i3 so if you open up a multiple terminals it's going to just do one thing as you can see but you can split it vertically by using super v as you can see it's split v is super v and split a horizontally is super b so if i have vertical then everything will be vertical since i am using came on uh, using a different keyboard layout the b letter is completely different if you look at your keyboard you see that v and b are very close to each other so i'm gonna use z which is where b is on my keyboard layout this is the extra feature that sway has i don't know if i3 has it because i have not used i3 mod e will be tiling so that is the default thing that i showed you mod w will give you tabbed and mod s will give you stacking tabbed and stacking is kind of similar it's just it's just that it looks different i will show you that what was the keyboard layout again super s so i'm gonna do super s and then i'll open stuff and it will just look like this meanwhile if i do super w it just looks like a browser as in it has a lot of tabs i personally don't use either one of them and uh, i'm going to be installing an auto tiling script later down the line which will give you automatic tiling so you don't have to do super v and b again and again but that does not work with the tab view or the stacking view so for that i will have to not use it anyway so i'm just going to kill all of this and go back here and we will just disable this by putting a hash in front of it so that it becomes a comment or you can just delete the line like this as well it doesn't matter Super F will be full screen which means if you press super and F things become full screen super simple more toggle the current focus between tiling and floating mode is that it can you know with this key binding you can change something to floating so if, at the moment this is tiling so if I do super shift space it becomes floating do that again and it becomes tiling I prefer it to be super space so I'm gonna do super space and swap between tiling and floating mode is when when you have like multiple windows and you can do hjkl to move around them right but let's say you have multiple floating windows and to move around it first we will have to move from tiling mode you know being able to access tiling mode to the floating mode which i ba barely even use so super shift space would work just fine for that All right, so after that we'll have resizing. Resizing on tiling window managers is kind of annoying, especially when you can split in any ways. So I just stick to the keyboard. I stick to the mouse version, so mouse is much easier. Let's say I have, I have some stuff like this. Let's say I want to make this bigger than this. Press and hold the super key, right click, just move your mouse around if i want to make this bigger this is easier than using this key binding and using the resize button or resize method so i'm just going to not use any of this not use that now we are at the end of the config where we set up the bar the position will be top if i want to be in the bottom just run bottom if I can type I prefer it on the top so that's that what the hell could this be right status command is basically a command that you can run which will show up here this is basically a command called date I'm just going to change this into just the date to show you what it is now date gives you this If you run while date it will just show you this <clears throat> and 
and what does do one sleep all of that means so sway bar is very simple as in it only runs a script and we'll have to loop it so it the script here it could be a command or a script we put a script here and then you go say loop for every second so it runs and then it runs again after a second then it runs again after a second so it it's an infinite loop infinite loop and that's basically it all of these are for colors <clears throat> as you can see that this is blue and there is a status line which is this black bar if i remember correctly because you know this is black no fffff is white so it's the color of this thing the letters background is this 32 that is the dark color and uh, inactive workspaces is all the workspaces that are well not activated that's basically it that should change the colors to the bar but i also want to change this thing which isn't here by default on the sway config it's default back yeah default underscore border i think it's set to something so let's just search for that default border there is normal none and pixel if it's normal it's this nonsense none means there is no border at all uh, you kind of want a border pixel is just a border with a kind of like you know just like the left and bottom see these spots and the pixel size depends on you know, makes the thick thickness change we have a two pixel border and the red line is going to be our split which is much easier to see and as you can see if there is a floating window that will have this thing if it's inactive it's black with white text and if it's active then it's white with black text which is basically this line i think yeah these two are like background and then color background and color i am not sure what the fuck this is so now the things that you want to do are like launching your stuff that you can just add whenever you want but there are also another thing that we forgot media keys and there is also rules which is nice to learn like for example let's say i want to hit the volume key on the laptop to change volume it won't do shit unless you configure it so we are going to do that as well but for that we will need to know what the name of these keys are so for that we will have to install another program it's called wev which stands for valent event viewer there is an x11 version called XEV which predates WEV obviously if you are using a X11 window manager you can use XEV this is very useful by the way there is also another pro program that is super useful it's called XPROP if a program is running in XORG it will change the cursor to plus and then when you click on it you can see all the details about that window i use it to figure out if a program is running on x11 mode or a valen mode let's just install that as well there is no xprop oh xprop does not need to be installed it's just a built-in program yeah as you can see my my, my mouse doesn't change anything but if I had an X11 program, it will change to a plus. Don't really have anything to show you, but anyway, <clears throat> we will run WEV. 
and we'll just split it towards the bottom and as you can see when you move your mouse it says as WL pointer and let's say you click you have the mouse on your on this background and then you click on buttons like I click Q as you can see I cannot move my mouse to show you but it shows you WL keyboard serial something 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 and then sim Q because I clicked on the Q letter if I typed in something like ARST as you can see all the letters that I'm typing will be here see and uh, let's say I want to click the volume key or something like that on my keyboard and I press the key and it shows you the name as XF86 audio law volume the other button will be XF86 audio raise volume there are a lot of keys on your system that has names like that there is a <laughs> and that's funny because it says it's super f1 when i'm just clicking the f1 key which has like the question mark for help this is brightness so it's xf86 mon brightness down and mon brightness up huh that's interesting so f4 has the button for you know window sharing that is basically super p how interesting xf is the audio mute is the audio mute button audio previous audio play and pause are like play and the next are the media keys rf kill is for the aeroplane mode and that's pretty much it for my laptop but if i have a thinkpad it does have a lot more keys like there is a key to open the webcam there is a key for hibernate a key for sleep if you just press those keys it actually shows you as a letter and if the keys work out, out of the box then you don't really really need to configure right so that's a win-win anyway once you learn the name of these keys you can add it here let's go all the way down and add it somewhere here before this okay let, let's add media keys here so i'm gonna do media keys But this will just raise the percent. But uh, if you use desktop environments, you know that it shows you an audio bar, right, alongside the change in volume. So we want to see the change in volume as well as the thing actually changing. So we will be running this other thing. So we can add an AND, and then we'll run another thing as well. As you can see that's basically all it is <clears throat> now we can theme dance to make it look better but that's basically it so volume also has a bar now and uh, I don't think there is anything else to do on Sway uh, other than like adding your own config custom hotkeys which you can do somewhere here now here Let's add a couple of other hotkeys as well. Something like 
browser uh, bind sim mod plus w execute browser and then like mod is foot hyphen hyphen uh, ranger that's for running ranger inside foot terminal do i have any other things that i need maybe yeah we'll need to add sh screenshots which we'll do later because we do need to do a, a bit more work and then we'll configure other stuff later down the line i'm just very tired and it's already an hour so i'll have to edit a lot of things down and uh, that should be enough i'm just gonna call save this and then we'll restart sway again and if you do super w it's gonna take a while because my you know, browser is slow i'm gonna do super r so that we have yeah have the browser open as well now we have five gigabytes worth of video on my ranger as well so all right that's basically it for today I'll see you guys in the next video where we will be configuring something else and we'll also be like fixing this thing later on the line. Happy that we rush could there ask him please my day cause eh it's got me that you go no ego koro ah bella oh my damn I love you honey shit there's a mood out there I'll tell you why honey Dorak mirai beautiful star Dorak mirai beautiful star Dorak mirai beautiful star Nanka was rich at and Happy lucky Connie Oh for fuck's sake